Welcome back everyone. Just over the state border, a new coronavirus variant has been discovered in New York City. The mutation first showed up in samples taken in November and by the middle of this month, it accounted for more than a quarter of cases in the city. To learn more about this variant, we are talking with Dr. Virginia Bielek, who is the chief of infectious diseases at the Hospital of Central Connecticut. Dr. Bielek, we always appreciate you joining us. Good evening. Pleasure to be here. Obviously, this is the talk of today. A lot of people concerned about this variant. What do we know about it? Well, the data are very preliminary, and I haven't seen the scientific publication yet. But from what I understand, there's a new variant uh, identified in New York City called B1526. And it's, of course, a concern because New York is very close to us. Uh, the significance of this is not clear yet. We know that this variant does share one amino acid difference that is similar to the amino acid difference, one of the amino acid differences seen in the B1351 strain, which came was first identified in South Africa. And the importance of that particular mutation is that it seems that it may interfere with some antibody protection uh, in, in, to some extent. So there's a um, correlation between a mutation that arose in New York and one that arose in South Africa or first identified in South Africa. But again, these mutations are common and they arise, independ arise independently all the time. Do you think that this variant could become more widespread than the original strain of COVID-19? Hard to know. Um, mutations, if they're favorable to the virus and result in easier transmission or easier binding or linking on to the cells of the human body, they do tend to become more predominant strains. Not time to panic yet. Um, we have no reason to believe that vaccines won't work against these um, variants. We do know that there's some diminution in activity against the B1351 strain, but we don't know anything about this strain yet. And it's important. We've got to keep ahead of this. So masks, social distancing, uh, avoid crowds, avoid unventilated area, and when your time comes, get your vaccination so we can keep ahead of these variants. Absolutely. Thank you so much for the information. We very much appreciate it. Dr. Virginia Bielek with the Hospital of Central Connecticut. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Bye.